Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialist in SharePoint. In this video, we will discuss how we can provide admin roles in Office 365. In the previous videos, I have explained how we can create Office 365 users, how we can assign license, these things. So now let us see how we can provide admin roles. So first of all, let us understand few best practices that you should follow for admin roles. You should have at least two to four global administrators. At the same time, you should have, uh, when you are assigning an admin role, make sure that you assign the least permissive role. For example, if you want to, uh, if you want the user to change the password, then you don't need to give uh, the global administrator access in that case. Probably you should see whichever role is suitable for changing the password, you should provide that one. I will show you some of the roles and then we will be able to understand what exactly permission that we should give. And the second and the last one is if you require then you can enable multi-factor authentication for the admins. So what will happen is if any by any chance the password is compromised then it will ask you to uh, for one more level of authentication so that even if the user has the password the the uh, or if even if the password is compromised they will not be able to log into the site unless and until they will cross the another level of authentication so now let me open my sharepoint online site uh, sorry our office 365 admin center and then we will see how we can provide the admin roles before that, if you are interested in SharePoint trainings, I have a few training courses for the developers as well as for the site owners. You can see it here. I'll put this link in the comment section of the video. You can have a look at this. I will also put a uh, URL where you can access the entire course at a discounted price. Now I'll open my uh, Microsoft 365 admin center. You can just type admin.microsoft.com and it will ask you to uh, provide your credentials and once you provide your credentials you will be uh, uh, coming up with this page now if you will see here by default the roles link is not there in the left navigation so click on this customize navigation and if you will see here there is a role um, option is there just check it and then click on save so once you click on save then if you will see here um, there is a role section has been added click on that roles and then if you'll see here um, there are various roles are available so if you'll see here you can see uh, various cloud admin cloud device admin cloud application admin uh, exchange admin if you want you can see here in the uh, here it is showing that full access to the exchange online so they can create and manage groups manage service request all these things they can do so if you will see here, there is a help desk admin where the user can reset or re-authenticate. Uh, 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 they have that role. Um, so similarly, if you will see here, there is license admin who can access or who can actually assign and remove licenses for the users. Uh, so these are various. Similarly, you can see here, there is a password admin. So that means this is what we are talking about, the best practices. So suppose you want a user to be an admin uh, or you want the user should or the administrator only change the password then you should give them the password admin rather you provide uh, the entire global admin because the password admin if you give them they can reset the password easily for example in this case if i'll click on that you will be able to see in details first of all what is the uh, uh, what what is this role all about and then you can see assigned admins that means if you have any uh, password admin uh, there you can see the uh, people over there and then finally the permission if you can see here what they can do what is the permission that the user can do so i'll go to assign admin and click on add so once you click on add you can see here um, uh, who do you want to assign to this role so you can select the user suppose i will select here ben um, and you can see here the bane will be added you can see here now bane 
uh, will be a password admin if the user is logged in or if Ben will logged in then you can change the password of the user so you can click on save so once you click on save you can see here Ben is now added and you will be having one admin so you can add multiple uh, people over there uh, for the admins and uh, this way you can uh, assign uh, rules or you can especially you can add uh, uh, various users to particular uh, uh, role so if you'll see here all these are roles you just go through what is exactly the requirement for example let's say I want one guy to be the SharePoint admin then I will add to SharePoint admin rather I will give them the global administrator so whatever the specific role you want you should assign the user that role so uh, this is how you can uh, um, assign admins um, uh, to various uh, roles and if you like our uh, uh, videos kindly subscribe to the channel uh, you can get a lot of uh, uh, notification on uh, videos that we upload on SharePoint, Power Apps, Power BI, uh, SPFX, all these technologies uh, including Azure Agile and these are our Twitter handle, my, our website, LinkedIn, Facebook pages so you can just follow us and you can like our pages. Thank you and have a nice day.